Hi, I'm Anna. I'm an engineer here at ANSYS, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a new feature in SDK 12.5. Uh, with this new feature, it's a simplified way of doing interference analysis, and uh, we've included a tab under the receiver properties where you can specify interferers, rather than in previous versions where you would need to specify uh, constellations for your receivers, transmitters, and interferers, and then use that to create a comm system object. So today I'll be walking through a simplified scenario uh, showing you how you could do this analysis uh, with the new release. So going into my scenario here, I have my aircraft at Edwards Air Force Base. And then if we go to our satellite, we have a military communication satellite. And that is being tracked by the receiver at Edwards Air Force Base. So here is our aircraft flying over Edwards, uh, where data is transmitted to the control room back at the base. And uh, for simplicity in this scenario, I'm just going to have one transmitter on my aircraft and one receiver at Edwards. So if I go into my satellite transmitter properties, I can see that it's uh, transmitting at a frequency of 1.5 gigahertz. And then if I also go into my aircraft transmitter properties, I can see that that's transmitting at the same frequency as my satellite, uh, which will likely cause interference. Uh, so we can see how interference occurs by going into our receiver properties, and then our new interference tab over here to the right and we have the option to select either of these transmitters as interferer. So I'm using the aircraft as my interferer. Uh, and our next step would be to calculate access between the receiver and transmitter. Um, so I have already done that uh, for simplicity, but that's what you would do here. I'll just calculating access like normal. And then to complete my analysis, I've inserted a coverage definition and a figure of merit. Uh, so if I look at my coverage definition properties, I have my latitude and longitude regions defined here. And then uh, my coverage definition is at the same altitude as my satellite. And then for my grid constraint, I have my uh, satellite transmitter. And then if we go to the assets page, I have my receiver at Edwards Air Force Base as my asset. Um, so now I can go to my figure of merit and use this to do a sort of interference calculation. Um, if I go to the properties, so I'm using an access constraint type figure of merit. And then I'm looking at the normalized uh, signal to noise ratio, including interference. And then um, if I go over here to the 2D animation page, I want to show these contours here. Uh, I've already defined these just to keep things moving along, um, but those are just the different um, normalized signal-to-noise values that we're going to see. And then I want to add my legend here. So I'll just go do that. Um, and I want to have it show in the 3D graphics window. So you can click OK and save those changes. And now I will be able to animate my scenario and see how the signal to noise ratio is changing um, as my aircraft moves. Uh, so looking at this animation, we can see that the normalized signal to noise ratio is changing as we see the contour changing. And that shows us that interference is occurring as our aircraft is flying over the test range and transmitting at the same frequency. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you want more information on the new release, you can head over to ansys.com.